Hey everyone. So I was on the fence about giving this talk, um, and there were kind of two things that tipped me over that fence to actually do it. One was a post on Reddit at late last week where somebody said, hey, this open convict thing, who's doing that? And there was a, a comment that said, oh, that's just some um, Google thing. They're, they're the only people doing that. And then yesterday's t streaming telemetry talk by Cisco, which I thought was very good, some of the comments after that that seemed to suggest similarly that this was just a Google thing led me to think that maybe we should talk about this myth, that nobody uses open config except Google. So I let you into the little secret, that is false. Um, we use open config as it happens. So it's also false, and I know there's a double negative in that sentence that I noticed after I submitted it. Um, the development of open config has not stalled. I've heard that from a couple of vendors as it happens. Um, I guess in their efforts to try and push back on any implementation efforts. But um, it is true that the leading member of that community, Google, has done most of the work for that project. That said, it is a community, and it wasn't without significant input from the other members, which are network operators. The Open Convict community um, has several other active members. Um, I won't say it's a huge community, but it does have other active members. We are one of them. Um, and there are other ISPs and enterprises that show up and provide input on the things that they need from those models. There are also several production implementations based on Open Convict out there in the wild. Um, ours isn't quite there yet, but it will be very soon. The next issue that people like to point out. Open Convict has too many gaps in its coverage to be useful. This is one of those things that any kind of open source project when it is young will, will suffer from. But the other issue here is that some people would say, I'm waiting for it to be complete or bigger or better. And it's not really what Open Convict is trying to do. It's meant to be that uh, the operators come to the community with their use cases and implement that section of the model that provides them a direct benefit, rather than trying to wait for it to be complete. It's an iterative model as a result. Sometimes that means we make changes to it. Um, but it's absolutely true, it doesn't cover every possible value for every tweak for every protocol, because it's not supposed to. It does mean that the operators um, when they require things, have to suggest those things. And typically, it means that they have to come with the patches that provide those, that functionality. Again, development is iterative. It is a community that provides good feedback. Um, and generally, it does not take long for changes to get merged into the repository. But what I will say, it is important for any operator to work out what it is they want from OpenConfig themselves. The approach that we're taking to do this is running through our vendor native configurations and producing a mapping from that open convict. The side effect of that is it tells us where the gaps are in the, in the models. Therefore, we have a list of actionable items that we can prioritize and work through. That's one of the things we're doing right now. Next up, vendors do not support open config. This is also false. All of our major vendors, five of them, support open config to some degree. That's not complete. It's certainly not current. But what I will say is that they are all showing um, willingness to implement the things that we ask them for. That mapping information that I talked about in the previous step helps us, because that can give us information that we can then provide to our vendors to say, these are the things in the models that we need. And again, we can prioritize that, and people can work through that. The implementation details that vendors have tend to vary. Typically, they have some agent on the device that intercepts things that are in an open config namespace and provides some kind of translation to their vendor native model under, behind the scenes. One particular vendor can do this in both directions, um, which is great. The one thing it can't do is tell me the things that it can't translate back, which would be useful. Um, but really what I'm trying to say here, in order to vendors to support the things you need on their devices, you need to tell them you need those things. I do have one vendor that likes to tell me that we're the only people asking for this. I know this is patently not true, but my colleagues in other service providers could do well to let the vendors know. If they're interested in this, let their vendors know. So where next for us? 
we're going to continue developing um, the models as needed within the Open Convict community. Um, we do also have an internal representation of Open Convict, which kind of leads the things we upstream. Um, for Velocity, of course, your help is welcome. If you're a network operator, you're welcome to join the Open Convict community. We're going to continue to work with our vendors to increase the support they have for the things we need on our devices. Again, your support is absolutely welcome in that. We have several projects in flight. Um, if there is interest, I'm happy to discuss um, any of those things in, in more detail than a lightning talk can really allow me to do. And if there's also interest, then perhaps we'll present at a future Nanog um, some details on some operational experience. And that is what I had. I hope to leave more time for questions. And I have four and a half minutes. I guess you want to get a break. Thank you.